Hi everybody, welcome back to the RoboBite video series. This is Tim from Pitsco Education and today's RoboBite I want to talk to you about channel. Uh, this is one of the foundations of the Tetrix ecosystem. So it's pretty plain. This is part of the structure category of the ecosystem. This is going to be what you're building all of your platforms, uh, superstructure, substructure, everything that you're going to use to actually create your robots. We've got actually uh, five different sizes of channel. We've got 32, we've got 96, we've got 160, 288, and 416. So those are the links of the channel. Uh, let me go ahead and show you just kind of a, a general idea of this is a platform that um, makes pretty good use of channel connected in different ways to create a very sturdy platform to then provide building opportunities off of that through the various connection points. Uh, as you can see, I, I've got a good use of the extra pieces along with this to create a very sturdy, very structurally sound structure. Um, but let's talk a little bit about uncommon uses. Um, it's not going to be anything uncommon other than the fact that maybe you might be able to use these in things that you might not think about. Things like uh, I've used them as anything from um, decorative pieces, I've used them for functional pieces as structure support for a non-robotic type of thing. So they can be used in that way. We don't necessarily recommend this, but people sometimes forget you can cut them. You can actually drill holes in them. Just keep in mind that once you've done that, once you've made a cut, it's awful hard to put something back together, but they can be used for that. So those are things to think about. Things to watch out for, hole alignment. Uh, let's talk about the hole for uh, uh, the pattern for, for a minute because that's a very uh, integral part of these channel pieces. You've got this star type of a pattern that makes it very easy to make connections in very specific degrees. 180 degrees, 90 degrees, 45 degree increments, it makes it very easy to create predictable uh, uh, angles uh, for con your construction. That's one thing. But the other thing to think about, there's tolerances with these holes that are necessary to make it easy to build with for the screws. So that allows for a little bit of play. So those are something things that are necessary to think about. If you want to make your robot perfectly square, you need to pay attention to the alignment. So those are things to watch out for. Resources, again, they're always available at the bottom of every product page. So if you go to pitsco.com, look at the bottom of the product page, you'll find resources like CAD files, dimensions, weight, those type of things available so that you can find out everything you need to know about this particular part. So like we always say, have fun, build some robots, come back and see us.